Hi guys, what's happening? So we're back. Today is Freddy's workout. Um, and what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna do something a bit different. Um, was I was gonna, I'm doing a core workout with you, but I was gonna do the full workout with you, and um, you know, you just follow along. But a bit of feedback from the last time I done the core workout, people are saying that I was going a bit too quick and. They prefer me just to show the exercises, the sets, the reps, and then they get on with it in their own time, which is 100%. So I'm going to try that out today and see how it goes. Um, if you prefer it that way, let me know and I can do that for all the workouts. And I mean, or, but if you like follow, pardon me, follow along, then let me know that also. So I'm just going to show you through it. The full workout will be written down in the description. So just uh, watch through the exercises, how to perform them, and then get the... Get the workout out of the description and then just crack on in your own time at it. Now, this will be a tough core workout, okay? It's basically, your, yes, there's core involved in everything that we do, um, but this will probably be the, because we're only doing one core workout, like, like um, isolating the core, sorry, this week, it's going to be a long one, it's going to be quite tough. So I'm just going to go through the exercises. The first one I want you to do is just um, side planks. So get down on the ground, okay? Elbow um, at 90 degrees to the shoulder, okay? Shoulder is directly over the elbow as well, okay? What you're gonna do is put your feet out. You're gonna push up into it and you're gonna hold. Okay, you're gonna squeeze this as tight as you can, right up into it, okay? Hand, other hand on the hip. Now, I want you to hold this for 20 seconds. If you struggle and can't get in that position, what I want you to do is put your knee on the ground, okay? And then I want you to keep your body straight, push up from the knee, okay? And that's going to still get the same effect, okay? But it's just a, a bit less, it's like a, the, the easier modification of a full side plank, okay? And I just want you to hold that. So you're going to hold that one side for 20 seconds. Then you're going to flip over, but obviously I'm doing it on the other side. Now what you might find is one side stronger than the other. So your right side, you might be able to go up full way and being able to hold it for the full 20 seconds. Um, but then what you might find is on the left side, you have you can you're only able to do that one okay so what i want you to do is i don't i want you to try and keep it the same okay so if you're going on your knees for the, for the left side do that for the right side because if you continue doing the harder one for the right side there's going to be more of an imbalance and it's going to get worse and worse and worse okay so um you're just going to do 20 seconds each side that's one set okay you try it if you can go in this sort of um Routine to tw 20 seconds each side and a 20 second break. Um, and that's one set and then we're going to do five sets of that. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's our first exercise done the side plank. Our second one we want to do is you want to do uh, just a normal setup. Okay. So there's different ways you can do this. Now, my core is really sore from yesterday. So we'll be able to do this. Okay. So you can just go up in a crunch like this. Okay. And then let yourself down slow. Okay, you can do a full sit up, or if you struggle with that, put your feet under something. Okay, keep your core tight. And what I want you to do when you're doing a sit up, um, and hopefully you can see this through, through the camera. Okay, and um, I want you to roll yourself up. Okay, like you're peeling a plaster off the ground. So first, your your upper back comes up. Okay, then you keep going. You're rolling up. Then your mid back. Then your lower back, and you're up. And then when you're coming down. You reverse that so your lower abs go down, then your middle abs, then your upper abs, then your mid back, then your upper back, okay, and roll down slow. I want hopefully if I can do it like this way, side on and I'm not too close, you'll be able to see. So from here, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up. You're sitting up, opposite, down, 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 relax. And then see him again. Okay? Now, what I want you to try and do, so that's our second exercise, I want you to try and do five sets of 20 reps of that. Now, if you do your first set and you're really struggling, okay, I want you to do them that slow. What I don't want to see is people just going bam, bam, bam. A lot of people you'll see when they're doing a uh, <laughs> setup, they'll just go and bang their back off the ground. Okay, that's doing nothing. It's all about rolling that out, the abs up, and then rolling them back down. So, five sets of 20. If you're struggling with that, you can modify it to five sets of 10 or five sets of 15. Okay, so that's exercise number two. So, 
we move on. Exercise number three, we're going to do single leg bikes. So you're down on the ground, bring your legs up to 90 degrees, suck that belly button in, keep the core tight. Now you're pushing the leg out, bring it in, crunch up, leg out, keep the back flat to the ground, bring it in, crunch up, out, in, crunch up. Okay, so you're going to do 10, one side nice and slow like that. Keep the core tight, leg out, hold, one, two, in, squeeze, leg out, hold, one, two, in, squeeze, okay? So you're going to do nice and slow like that, it has to be slow. If you're doing this, okay, where you normally see people doing bikes, you're going, okay, it's not going to work, you're going too quick. It's slow, steady, time under tension. So you do 10 each side, so that's obviously 20 in total. And then what I want you to do is I want you to do five rounds of that so that's our three exercises that's three exercises so far so that's a total of 300 reps which you're thinking whoa that's quite a lot which which it is so up next what i want you to do is hollow bodies okay so basically all you do is put your legs out okay as flat as you can while keeping your back flat with the ground and your core engaged you put your hands behind you Okay, and you're like a dish, okay, you're like that dish bowl shape, really activating the core. Okay, if your legs need to be up here, so that's fine. If, you're need, if your legs can go right on here and you can properly get yourself into that dish shape, okay, take a gymnast hold, okay, that's even better. Now, a lot of people will struggle with that. If you've got tight hamstrings, tight lower doses in your lower back, um, you'll find that quite tough. But as I said, the modified, change it so it suits you. Now, that there is, um, again, you want to try and do 20 second hold, just like the plank, and you're going to do five sets. So we're counting the seconds, it's sort of like reps here. Um, so in total, that will be 400 reps so far. Okay, then up next, for our fifth exercise, we're just going to bring it back with something really simple. Okay, and again, I'm trying to take pressure off the lower back really to get as much activation in the core as possible okay so what i want to do is bring your legs in 80 degrees you can cross them over if you want and all i want you to do is crunch up and try and touch your toes obviously you're not going to touch them but just reach for them now if you watch me now watch my legs and the, the angles of my knees okay my legs don't move okay so i'm not crunching up and then bringing my knees into me okay because all you're doing there is rounding um the lower back okay your knees and legs stay in the same position, core tight, squeeze, okay, activating the core, and I'm up towards the toes, down, up towards the toes, down, okay, and again, you're trying to peel yourself off the ground, like that plaster shape, and lower yourself back down, okay, it's going to be harder with that, you, and don't get me wrong, you can, it's impossible to go really, really slow that you can with a sit-up, but um, that's what I want you to try, and again, we're aiming for five sets of 20 reps in total, Okay, so that's going to be 500 reps in our core. And then we're going to go, pardon me, we're going to go one more exercise. Um, and we're going to make it up to the, the 600 mark. Now, this is a, quite a simple one, okay? We've done it um, before and it's just the to get a wee bit of rotation and it's the drunken, the drunken plank, okay? Okay, so it's just the plank position. You can go on your hands. Or you can go on your uh, forearms, okay? And all you're doing is just rotate across, rotate across, okay? I find it better on your forearms, okay? Just bringing your knee across your body. If you struggle with that and you're thinking, oh, I don't really feel that, that just hurts my back, or I find it hard to hold that position, okay? What you can do is you can either go into mountain climbers, okay? So just nice and slow, bringing it up, really activating the core. Or if you struggle with that, you can go onto your back. Okay, and again, when you're doing that, that'll be five sets of 20 seconds. Okay, but it's nice, slow control, get the contractions. But if you're struggling with that, okay, you can go into um, another one we've done before, which is just the flutter kicks. Okay, you can just go into nice flutter kicks, make sure you're keeping your back flat on the ground, or you can go into scissors. Or you can do a mixture, you can do 10 seconds of flutters, 10 seconds of scissors. Okay, now, that's going to be 600 reps in total, um, including the seconds, but we've added in. 
it, trust me, this will be tough, okay? Um, and as I've said before in the previous videos, if there's something that you're struggling with, so some people, some people uh, do struggle with the core work because it is the core is weak. This is why I'm doing this video this way as well. So you can take as much time as you want. Okay, so if you want to do the first hundred exercises and then take a five ten minute break, you can do so. If you want to, if you've got the ability and you do it all in one go, even better. Okay, whereas I find some people with the core work when they're following along with me, I can get carried away and rush rush ahead and then you get left behind and you feel like you need to keep going and your quality isn't great but the, the quantities there if that makes sense so you're still do, following along with me but your technique's going and that means you're more susceptible to injury so um i've done it like this i'm going to try different ways of putting the videos out just so they're not an hour long some people find it boring and only watch half of it or only do half the workout um but give it a go please let me know how it feels I'll be asking the, the few usual ones that normally write back to me how it went. Um, and yeah, have a good Friday. And tomorrow, so it's 600 reps today. Tomorrow we'll be back with, um, we'll be back with another CrossFit workout, as I said, on Thursday. And it's going to be 850 reps. So I'm, not, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are as well, because I'll be doing it with you. See ya.